We're just going through Nogal, New Mexico on June the 30th, 2024, after the horrible fire in Ruidoso recently. And uh, apparently the forest fire didn't reach this far north and west. This is again Nogal, New Mexico, Highway 37. We're headed to <coughs> Ruidoso, and uh, we're climbing up now. The temperature has dropped from 90 to 84 in about seven miles <laughs> from my place in Carrizoza. Beautiful drive, beautiful area, and uh, try to get my phone out of the sun here if I can. Yeah, this is a pretty drive. I'm gonna, uh, the people that were doing are doing my cement concrete work are uh, told me that Albertsons is open, the Walmart store is open in Ruidoso. So I'm gonna go do a little bit of shopping and check out the area. I mean, you're really climbing here. Again, though, it, it, even though you are climbing, uh, it's a pretty drive in the mountains of New Mexico around Ruidoso, Capitan. Yeah, this is, would be a beautiful area to live. I mean, and, and believe me, I've thought about it. I've thought about living everywhere on this planet, I think. But the downside, of course, is forest fires. That's one. And the other is this land is not cheap. No, you get up in these mountains here and it can be a little bit pricey. But we're cruising along at about 40 miles an hour, certainly in no hurry. Yeah, I'm just enjoying the day. This is a Saturday morning drive when this will show up on on my channel i'm not sure i'll post it in a few days i got some concrete videos coming up and stuff and that'll be ahead of this but it'll show up again this is june the 30th 2024 at 8 56 a.m and right now it's showing 82 and dropping <clears throat> why is it dropping because we're going up my ears are popping like I was on an airplane. Now you probably get up around 8,500 feet in here and then drop down into Ruidoso Alto about 7,000 feet. Got a little rest area off to the left there. Comes in handy sometime. It's, it's not well marked. I mean, when you see the sign for the roadside park, there's where you turn. And my son, my phone is in the sun. Let it go a minute. I think, I think we turn out of it. say I think we turn out of out of the sun. It's getting hot. It's getting pretty warm. You know that's one of the problems that the Android and Samsung Samsung phones have. <clears throat> they got so much going on in the background that the phones overheat. I haven't seen any fire damage at all yet. I'm gonna take the phone out of the holder right now because it's gonna to be toasty. We'll just do it right here. Yeah, I, I don't even look at it. I just kind of glance every now and then, about the same as I do if it's in the holder. Highway 37. I hadn't even seen any smoke yet. 
I think they've got the fires under control now. They had two fires, and uh, I think they're both pretty well out. Yeah, I'm just driving. This is just a driving video to let you see what I see uh, as far as, you know, forest fire and stuff. I'm seeing, I'm seeing if I can find a place to get my arm comfy. Now the phone's in the shade, the holder. <laughs> I mean, Murphy's Law at its finest, right? Nobody behind me. This is not a very busy road, even in normal conditions. And that's why I like to come this way to go shopping. It's uh, just a nice drive. From Nogal to Alto is probably 15 miles, maybe. But again, a very nice drive through the mountains, forest. Completely different from where I am in the desert. That's another thing I like about this area. I mean, in 10 minutes I can be in the mountains and the forest and the temperature drops 10 degrees minimum. Yeah, this is a pretty drive because I can go around to Rudoso and do a little shop in there, go to the deli at uh, uh, Albertsons, and then if I choose to, if I don't find anything at Albertsons, I can come back around through Capitan and go to the deli there. This is RV park on the left. Nothing there. Or no damage, I mean. Look, the fire didn't come this way, apparently. I'm not sure what direction it was. I looked at the maps, and you know, I, I could, I, it looked like it was all west and north, or, or southwest and north of Ruidoso, the town. Kind of went around it. And that would make sense because the prevailing wind at that time was out of the southeast. There's a little area off to the right here, got several homes in there. It's called Wolf Springs, and we're right in that area right now. That's kind of a mobile home, double wide community. And every time I go through there, I'm amazed at how they got those mobile homes in the locations they got them in. Yeah, we'll probably do two or three videos uh, today in this area and post them as time goes by. Wasn't there a TV series called As Time Goes By? That's all Forest Service uh, fire personnel <laughs> going to another location, I guess, or going back home. Isn't this beautiful? And what happens, and I get caught by it too, is you come into an area when you're traveling around and you think, oh, that's beautiful. If I could just live there. Well, then what happens when you live there, uh, it, you just become ingrained to the beauty and you don't 
uh, notice it like you did the first time. It's kind of like uh, a 90 day new job enthusiasm when you get a new job. Absence makes the heart grow fonder and familiarity breeds contempt. Still haven't seen any fire damage. You know, the time now to buy property around this area would be to buy in an area where the fire had just burned everything up and uh, then you'd be safe because it'd take 10 years for the forest to regenerate enough to have another forest fire. Yeah, off to the right, Bonito Lake, they, they got some damage there for sure. And this is Bonito RV Park on the right back there. Nothing there, no damage. I haven't seen any fire damage yet. Still no, uh, nothing. This is all undamaged in here. And this is where I thought they were really getting it right here, <laughs> based on what I could see from the maps. But as you can see, I was, I, I mean, I'm looking around on the hills around here. I don't see anything there either. Again, this is Highway 37 going from Alto east to Alto, let's see, you know, going from Nogal to Alto, and then we turn right up here on 48 and go into uh, Rodoso. Yeah, we'll let this go a few minutes. Yeah, it's only been like 12 minutes. Uh, nothing, no nothing yet, guys. Now we'll turn out of the sun, so I'm going to put the phone back in the holder. Because my hand gets tarred. Okay, let's go, boy. Down the mountain, run, boy, run. Okay, here we go, here we go, here we go. This is Rio Bonito. That's the little river down there. Got a guy right on my bumper. Speeding fines doubled. This is what they call a safety corridor. I don't know how they come up with those, but I think it's just a random pick. But again, no trees burned out here. They had a forest fire here a few years ago, so it, it's already cleared out once. Regenerated a little bit. It's a pretty good climb over this hill right here. I think about those people pulling triple axle fifth wheels up this and other inclines like in the Rocky Mountains of Colorado, the teeners, 14 or 14,000 feet high. And coming down ain't any better. No, no, no. I've done it. I didn't, I didn't like either way. Yeah, it looks like all the fire trucks are leaving town.
This is one of those scenic drives. Got a lot of these in New Mexico. You, you get around Santa Fe, pretty, uh, Taos, New Mexico, Angel Fire, Red River, uh, Eagle Nest. You know, all of that is really pretty. Chama area is pretty. Okay, right lane ends. That's where I bought my storage building, this guy here on the right. It's called Alto Portable Buildings. He sells at Eagle Carports. Temperature shows being even 80 right now at 9.09 a.m. June the 30th, 2024. Coming into, not much farther to uh, Ruidoso. We're gonna go down Gavilan Canyon Road, I believe. I think I'm gonna go to the Allsup's and get me a diet drink first and then I'll come back and we'll start another video going down Gavilan Canyon Road because I'm going to go around that way to go to Walmart a few things I need to get there not much yeah I don't eat much so therefore you know grocery store convenience doesn't mean a whole lot to me it helps but you know I do my own cooking I mean I cook a pot of beans and I'm good for a few days beans or bacon potato in the instant pot cook some rice beans whatever yeah it just doesn't take much and you know I fix you know uh, tostadas at night you know pinto beans with avocado little hot sauce uh, cheese lettuce tomato yeah just on one on one of those little round tortilla things this thing's making some noise here. gasoline is 329 a gallon which is the same as uh carazo no carazo is 319 i think yeah we'll let this go till we get to yeah, this is an area, see, we're coming into an area where the forest fire was, and you'll see the trees turning brown off to the right and left. But it's just a small section, you know, right in here. It's about 100 yards wide, both sides, or maybe more, I'm not sure. But the trees up on top of that mountain straight ahead where they were building a home, that far, it just, it, there ain't no home there now. Uh-oh. -uh. But the gas station here, untouched. Lucky dog. And then these trees here got burned at the tops. But that's, that was because the wind was blowing quite a bit, you know? Yeah, we're okay here. Yeah, both sides of the road here got toast, toasted. But Alto Cafe didn't get touched. This is Gavilan Canyon Road, but we're gonna go straight ahead. There's an all subs gas station down here that where I can get me a refill for 99 cents and you know old cheapy I'll go 100 miles out of the way to save a nickel yeah a lot of brown trees in here as in burned
temperature is holding right around 80 degrees. Yeah, they've already started construction here on the right. I imagine there's some builders in here that have got more off to the right. You can really see the damage in here now. You know, you'll be able to see it straight ahead too. But this is where the bulk or the most of the fire was because that old hotel to the right is just burned to the ground. We've talked about that before. And uh, yeah, this, is, this was the worst of it for Ruidoso right in here. And I think that's Upper Canyon off to the right or some of it. <clears throat> and you can see the trees. And off to the left, as far as you can see, it's burned. So that's where that's where it went. But we'll go we'll go back down Gavilan Canyon Road. But the purpose of the video and this now is you know, for those of you that live in the area, have property in the area, have friends or relatives in the area, you know, you'll be able to see for yourself. And I'm not gonna draw any conclusions other than you see what you see. And I won't bring in a teary-eyed male or female to tell you how miserable things are, even though they may be. Yeah, the trees there on the left are burned, but the buildings aren't touched. Yeah, I don't have anything to do all day today, so the you know, trees are scorched on the right, and then you get to this right here, they're untouched. Here's my allsups right here, my gas station, 335 a gallon for regular unleaded. Are they open? Yeah. somewhere I don't think I'd be want to be around a gas station if there was a forest fire in the area but having said that guys from uh, well this is close to Ruidoso or we maybe we we're in it thumbs up carpe diem adios bye bye buy anything you want anytime but if you think about it use the Amazon link in the description of all of my videos. Why? It doesn't cost you a penny. But anyway, guys, we'll end this one. We'll start another one in a minute going down Gavilan Canyon, and I'll do some videos of the area and post them in the future. Anyway, guys, enjoy your life one day at a time, best you can. Bye-bye.